Good afternoon everybody. Once again, welcome back to the video. My name is Samuel. I'm going to be your host instructor for the video. In this video, you are going to learn how to set up AWS Glue locally with Docker containers. That's right, Docker containers. Using this, you can access all the Glue databases, all the Glue tables. You can also query the data. Also, you can write AWS Glue jobs locally and test it out. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the steps needed to set up AWS Glue locally with Docker containers. So the only prerequisite you need for this particular video is Docker. So I'm making an assumption that you have already installed Docker on your Mac or Windows machine. So now let's follow the next step as assuming you have Docker installed, we need an access and secret key. So let's create them. Head over to the IAM and click on create user. We are going to call this user glue locally and click on next. After that, uh, head over to the policies. And for now, again, for learning purposes, I'm going to give administrative access, but later on you can filter it down uh, and provide glue full access or, you know, narrow it down further based on your needs. But for learning purposes, I don't want to deal with access issues. So hence I'm going to give administrator, click on next, click on create user. Once the user has been created, I'm going to head to security credentials. And now I'm going to create uh, an access and a secret key. So I'm going to click on command line, click on this, click on next, and then click on uh, this. Now what you want to do is you want to copy uh, these keys into your notepad. So I'm going to copy them in the notepad. So I'm going to open up my notepad over here. And that's my app. Uh, that is my access key. Don't worry after the video, this is going to be destroyed. So don't worry about that. So again, uh, step uh, two is basically head over to the IAM, create a user and then generate uh, access and secret key. Now the next step is we need to configure a profile called dev and we need to put this access and secret key. Let's take a look at the process. So I'm on my terminal, as you can see, hopefully the font size are visible. I'm going to issue this command AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile dev. I'm going to put this one over here and now it's asking me the access key. So I'm going to copy the access key over here. I'm going to copy the secret key. Region is going to be US East one format is going to be JSON. Now the next step is pretty straightforward. We need to pull the Docker image. Now, please do mind that this Docker image is about three to five gigabytes. So hopefully make sure that you have space on your computer. So now let's take a look at that process. I'm going to issue this command docker pull amazon slash aws glue slash libs colon a glue underscore libs underscore 4.0.0 underscore image underscore zero one so copying the command putting that on the terminal and this can take up to 15 to 20 minutes depending upon your internet speed so i've already done that in the past and hence uh, this shows as complete so the next step is pretty straightforward. Assuming you have pulled the image, which usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes since it's a big image. Uh, now we are going to issue a command to run the container and start the Jupyter lab. Using this, you can essentially now start writing code and every single thing that you used to do on AWS Glue locally. Let me show you that process. So issue this command, as you can see, docker run minus IT. IT means, you know, run this in the terminal mode. Over here, uh, slash V, you will put the path where your AWS um, you know, credentials are stored. In my case, when you do, again, when you install AWS CLI, they are default installed in C uh, and I believe users. And after that, go to your username. After that, it would be inside a folder called a .aws, as you can see. So provide that part over here, okay? AWS profile as dev. Again, we did create a profile called dev before. After that, uh, we are going to provide an environment variable called minus E, disable SSL, SSL as true. Uh, we're going to expose port 4040 and port 18080 and also port 8998 and port 888. And then we're going to provide the name and we're going to use the glue 4.0 image that we essentially have pulled, um, right? So now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to paste that one here. And uh, once uh, it is started, what you can do is now you can head over to the localhost 888. As you can see, Jupyter Lab is now started. So 
I can open up my Chrome, head over to localhost 8888. And as you can see, Jupyter Lab has now started. Now we can head over to the PySpark. We can click here. We can say Spark. And uh, here you can see starting Spark application. Now, all the code that you used to execute on AWS Glue, now you can execute locally. So let me show you that, okay? So here I'm executing a very simple command called spark.sql show databases. I have uh, three databases that is default, hoodie, db, and uber. And here you can see I do have that on um, the Glue catalog, right? So here, I, here you can see in my Athena, I have three databases, default, hoodie, db, um, again, and uber, right? Now, this is the code that you used to write in AWS Glue. Now you can execute locally. So I'm importing uh, AWS Glue and I'm creating a simple Glue context as you can see on this line. Then I'm reading a sample file from this bucket, Athena example US East one notebooks, yellow underscore trips data underscore 2016 I read this data as a Glue data frame. As you can see, Glue context dot create dynamic frame from option. I provide in the path, I provide in the format as parquet, and then I essentially did dot show. And again, observe, this is running locally now. Now, this way, you can essentially write all your glue code locally, test it, debug it, uh, you know, becomes much, much more easier uh, in fact. You can also connect to your glue databases, your glue tables, you can execute them, you can query them, everything locally. I hope this video is useful. If you did find the video useful, please make sure to hit the like, smash the subscribe button. And if you have any further question, do let me know your question in the comment section below. Just a note, all, all of the steps are given on the get up section. So make sure to check that out. Every single steps are listed there. Also, there are images for glue one, two, three, four. So there are images for all of that. So based on your use cases you can select the images i hope this video was useful with that being said if you have any further question do let me know your question in the comment section below with that being said keep smiling keep programming and see you guys in the next video